Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop. This week I want to tackle the Old Testament book of Daniel. For those of you who are reading through the Bible with me, this week's going to be a little more manageable because there are only 12 chapters in this book. Daniel is part of the prophetic section of the Old Testament, but Daniel, along with all of the remaining books in the Old Testament, they are called Minor Prophets simply because their books are much shorter than the books of Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Jeremiah. So let's jump into the book of Daniel and see what we can learn. In the very first verse, we're told that the king of Babylon came to the city of Jerusalem and he besieged it. Jerusalem is the city where God's people lived and worshiped God. And the king, he came and he took it by force. The king's name was Nebuchadnezzar. Because Nebuchadnezzar is out there conquering new lands, he has a growing empire. As his empire grows, his need for more people to run his empire also grows. So Nebuchadnezzar has these young Jewish boys taken miles and miles away from their home and their families, and in essence, he indoctrinates them in the ways of Babylon. The problem is that Babylon is a very ungodly place. As these young, impressionable young men live in Babylon, there are all kinds of things that threaten to corrupt them. According to verse 4, they're going to be trained to think like the ungodly Babylonians think. They're going to be encouraged to speak the way they speak, to eat and drink the things they eat and drink. But according to verse 8, Daniel resolved not to defile himself. And God honored Daniel and his friends for that decision. I want you to know that you do not have to conform to the culture in order to be successful. When you take a stand for God, God will take a stand for you. Verses 17 to 19, this is what we read. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning. Verse 19, the king talked with them, and he found none equal to Daniel and his friends, and so they entered into the king's service. Don't conform to the culture. You honor God, and you can trust God to honor you.